I still feel that I'm not that successful. I just feel that I'm quite grateful to be given the opportunity, mm -hmm. uh, this amana to to lead this company. This is uh, to me still a long a long journey for me. There is every reason for CTRM to be smacked right next to the Malacca International Airport. After all, the crux of their business is composites and aerotechnology. This year, their CEO, Shamsuddin Mamad Yusuf, won the Outstanding Leaders in Asia, and the company won the Green Initiative Award in the ACES Awards 2020. Malacca is one of the most interesting parts of Malaysia, offering a serene yet fascinating glimpse into the history of Malaysia and is a top spot for tourists. The city sits on a graceful river, with much of the city remaining unchanged for centuries. You can still find forts as well as buildings covered with traditional cherry red facades that were introduced during the colonial period. Famous as it is, Malacca is also home to a 58-acre plant of Composites Technology Research Malaysia, CTRM, in Batu Berendam. A subsidiary of DRB Highcom Group, CTRM manufactures composite components such as wings, engine covers and tails for the aerospace industry. We are basically the manufacturer, man mm. manufacturer of uh, advanced composite products particularly uh, for the aircraft, for passenger aircraft, uh, commercial aircraft, uh, especially for Airbus and Boeing. With 30 years working experiences in electronics, automotive and aerospace, Shamsuddin joined CTRM in 2016 when the company had just undergone a major crisis of delivery due to poor performance in operation and capacity. In the years that followed, Shamsuddin turned the company around. To date, its revenue has reached almost 1 billion ringgit as compared to 600 million ringgit in 2016, making CTRM one of the largest aerospace composite components manufacturer for commercial aircraft globally. Shamsuddin owes his success to his role models, especially his mother. You know, we, we are uh, coming from a difficult uh, family. We don't really uh, have everything or anything uh, very much. Everything is quite limited uh, yeah. in terms of resources to the extent that uh, when I was uh, 10 years old, I had to be sent to be uh, to stay with uh, my grandfather. At that particular time, uh, I think uh, my mother uh, do a lot of uh, odd jobs in order just to make sure that uh, the family is able to be uh, survive. Her perseverance, uh, her, her strong willpower. In, in ensuring the family is able to be taken care. He believes in a leadership style which is humble, simple, approachable and flexible. We should be working with anybody, uh, people, people from uh, uh, various walks of, of life. You cannot just, uh, because you are a CEO, you should be only confining yourself or mingling around with your managers or your senior management. You know, so to me, I, I will work with uh, my cleaners, uh, even my security guards. You know, all, all those are uh, uh, the people that I work with. You have to be seen approachable. And sometimes there are things when you are managing a factory like this, when you are dealing with 1,600 workforce, not only for you to be in the meeting room talking to your managers only, but there are a lot of check and balance that you need to do. Uh, on the ground, where you, you also have to communicate with your technicians and so on. Now, Shamsuddin is faced with another challenge. With over 60% aircraft grounded since the COVID-19 pandemic, the aviation industry has taken a beating. As far as leadership concerned, that will demand us uh, to think more strategically than before. Uh, I think uh, that's why the whole entire business plan strategy uh, right now, we are trying to reset. Uh, but because of the limited uh, resources and visibility, probably we can only uh, 
uh, plan for the short term uh, for the next one or two, two years. Until then, Shamsuddin is thankful for the recognition of their hard work and perseverance. I would like to personally thank ASUS. I think without this rec recognition, probably people will not know, mm. you know uh, who we are and how much of effort that the team, my team has put in. It's not so much about me, but I feel uh, the team have uh, done quite a great job uh, to do because without realizing one day, we will get this recognition, you know. So it, it is more on a sincere basis that we feel that we need to do this and we have a clear purpose why we have to do that, you know. So ASUS Award is just a bonus to us. From the untold and compelling story of their CEO, we now talk to the sustainability team on their green initiative, which garnered the company the Green Initiative Award in the ASUS Awards 2020. CTRM's sustainability is focused on six areas safety and health, energy management, waste management, human capital, corporate responsibility and supply chain. The company implemented a four-year energy efficiency plan in 2016 planned in phases that begin with conservation and an ultimate aim to introduce renewable energy to reduce consumption. The journey doesn't end there. CTRM is embarking on another four-year plan from 2020 to 2023 in order to further optimise their environment initiatives. CTRM's investments in initiatives include solar panel systems, green buildings, natural gas and a chiller system, all projected to generate significant cost savings as well as minimising the environmental impact for the organisation, another target of its sustainability initiatives. Uh, for the solar PV, we managed to reduce the electricity usage uh, mounting uh, 2,200 megawatt uh, which is equivalent to uh, 1 million ringgit per year. Okay, uh, so then also we have uh, managed to reduce uh, CO2 emission uh, from that uh, initiative itself. So basically we are talking about uh, 1,500 1, uh, uh, tonne per year of uh, uh, CO2 emission that we can reduce. For waste management, CTRM has reported decreasing disposal waste levels year on year, including scheduled waste supported by waste reducing initiatives such as materials replacement and packaging redesign. We have been using various communication platforms and campaigns to educate our staff, suppliers, customers, as well as stakeholders. We also encourage our suppliers to obtain certification in ISO 14001 standard which is the Environmental Management System and ISO 45001 standard which is for the Occupational Safety and Health. And if they have been certified, then extra point will be given to them during the tendering process. The story is very real here at CTRM which has led them to this road to success. Hope this is an inspiration to all of you out there because small improvements every day lead to big improvements over time.